Hi. We are approaching the end of a year of dark times and violence. For most of this year also, people have been ravaged by a plague that seems biblical. We pray for an end to it, but we also pray that we may learn from it. Advent is my favorite time of the liturgical year, and yet this year it arrived before I could prepare my heart for it. So I am grateful for this chance to reflect on the meaning of Advent. It is a time of great longing for me, longing to live a more faithful, purposeful, devout life, and to set aside sacred space to open my heart to the grace of the coming of Christ. Today's gospel is one of many Advent readings devoted to John the Baptist, who prepares the way for all of us for the coming of someone greater. Immersing ourselves in the story of John the Baptist helps prepare us for this mystery. The time, this time the story is about the angel Gabriel who visits the one who will be the father of John. And that man is Zechariah, a priest who is in the Lord's sanctuary burning incense. Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth have been unable to have children. An angel appears to Zechariah in the sanctuary to tell him Elizabeth will bear a son whom they will name John and there will be great rejoicing at his birth. Zechariah asked, how shall I know this? And the angel replied, I am Gabriel, sent to announce the good news. And then Gabriel adds, but because you did not believe me, you will be speechless until the day these things take place. And the people knew that Zechariah had seen a vision in the sanctuary when he emerged and stood speechless before them. And he remained speechless until John was born and was given his name. In tomorrow's gospel reading, Gabriel will visit Mary with the news that she will bear a child and she will ask, how can this be? And Gabriel will tell Mary that Elizabeth, who was called barren, is with child. For nothing, he said, is impossible with God. When we seek ways to love God and to serve others more fully, he fills us with joy and the peace that is not of this world. In two days at the beginning of winter, two planets will have come so close together that they will form a light of astounding brightness. This is an event that happens once every 800 years Perhaps it was this light that guided the Magi to the Christ child in Bethlehem that night. Yesterday, you heard about O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, which is one of my favorite carols. And there's another Christmas carol. It's called In the Bleak Midwinter, another favorite. And the last verse goes like this. What can I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. And if I were a wise man, I would do my part. Yet what I can, I give him, give him my heart. Nothing is impossible with God. There will be singing in the dark times. May we be filled with joy this Advent season. Thank you so much.